Amen. Amen. Acts chapter 28 from 1 to 10 says, Now, when they had escaped, they then found that the island was called Morta. Hallelujah. <laughs> Somebody will wonder, escape. Escape. Why? What do you mean escape? Hallelujah. Amen. They escaped from a shipwreck. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh -huh. That's why over here it's saying that after they had escaped. Amen. Amen. Two, the natives showed us unusual kindness. For they kindled a fire and made all and made us all welcome because because of the rain that was falling and because of the cold three but when paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on fire a viper came out because of the heat hallelujah Amen. and fastened on his hand for so when the natives saw the creature hanging on his hand, they said to, to one another, No doubt this man is a murderer, whom though he has escaped the sea, yet justice does not allow to live. Amen. Amen. Five. But he took the creature into the fire and suffered no harm. Six, however, they were expecting that he would swell up or suddenly fall down dead. But after they had looked for a long time and saw no harm come to him, they changed their minds and said that he was a god. 7. In that region, there was an estate of the leading citizen of the island, whose name was Pablius, who received us and entertained us courteously for three days. 8. And it happened that the father of Pablius lay sick of a fever and died century. Paul went to him and prayed, and, the, and he laid his hands on him and healed him. So when this was done, the rest of those on the island who had diseases also came and were healed. 10. They also honored us in many ways. And when we departed, they provided such things as were necessary. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The servant of God, Paul, the apostle. Amen. Amen. We, ha we heard that, we heard during the, course, during the course of the week, we heard that this servant of God, he had faith. We heard, we heard that he had focus. Hallelujah. Throughout, his trials and persecution. He had focus. He didn't allow his problems, his sufferings. Beloved, Paul went through a lot. Hallelujah. I went back when the president, the women's president gave us this quotation. I went back all the way to 22. And from chapter 22. And I could see what the what this man went through. Hallelujah. He went through trials. He went through suffering. He was beaten. Hallelujah. They beat him. Hallelujah. Even his own people, his own people, is like they plotted against him. Some said, we will not, we will not eat until this man is dead. Hallelujah. You can imagine a human being going hunger strike to see that the fellow human being is dead. Hallelujah. Amen. When you are called to serve, you will be hated. Hallelujah. Amen. But he didn't lose focus. Yes. His focus was on the one who called him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 
We heard about faith. He had faith in God. Hallelujah. Obedience. The servant of God was obedient unto the Lord. When he was called, he never returned back. <coughs> Hallelujah. Amen. We all know his story. He persecuted the Christians. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. But immediately the Lord called him. He never went back. No. Hallelujah. The, as God has called you, don't return Amen. back to where you used to be. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Rather, Ask for the first love. Amen. You see, when you first met Christ, the love that you had for him, it's like meeting someone you, you are in love with. You see that love. Ask God to give it back to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Obedience. He was obedient unto the Lord. Paul led a life of imitating Christ himself. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so as, as even, even in uh, Paul himself said, imitate me. As I imitate Christ. Hallelujah. So we need to imitate our leaders. Hallelujah. As they're giving us the word of God. Imitate them. Hallelujah. We heard that Paul had a servant spirit in him. He was an apostle. Hmm? He was a bishop. He had this huge title. But when we read in verse 3, the Bible says, Acts 28 verse 3 says, But when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, hallelujah, a viper came out because of the heat and fastened on his hand. The apostle, hallelujah, he came down we heard from our mother, Margaret, that this, this servant of God had the spirit of a servant. Amen. When you are called to lead, it is first serving others. Hallelujah. Amen. It doesn't matter who you are. Amen. If you are a bishop, you should be a servant. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He had the servant spirit in him. Amen. And this morning, I also want to add, I want to add to all that we heard that Paul had, Paul was righteous. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, it takes a righteous Christian mm -hmm. who is filled with the power of God. Who can do what Paul did? Yes. The Bible says he healed. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. this, when we read um, um, the when we read when they were welcome to the island and the snake attacked him. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. They started judging him. That's right. Hey, you you deserve what is coming to you. You deserve what is coming to you. So, even after you being saved from this wreck, because of your sin, because of your sin, God's wrath is still coming on you. Hallelujah. Amen. We are quick to judge. You see, as a Christian, it happened when God allowed Job to go through trials. Hallelujah. Amen. So we shouldn't be quick to judge. They were quick to judge him. But immediately he started performing the, the power of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They saw huh, they saw something. They saw the power of God, the Holy Ghost power active. Amen. Huh? Paul was not a dead Christian. Amen. He was alive in spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Beloved, those of us who are sleeping, let us rise. Amen. 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 If you are a Christian and you cannot pray, you are a dead Christian. Amen. If you are a Christian and you cannot fast, you are a dead Christian. Amen. We need prayers. 
We need fasting and we need the word. These three things makes you on fire. Amen. Paul was on fire. Amen. Beloved, be mindful that if you are not righteous, all these things cannot come to you. Paul was righteous. That is why the Holy Spirit, what did I say? Holy Spirit. He does not dwell where there is filthiness. Yes. Amen. Amen. Dear mom, I welcome you. Amen. And I called you, but you couldn't pick up. So, hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 We should be righteous. Hallelujah. hallelujah. And so this morning, I see how everybody is looking so good. You are all looking very, 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 very good. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hey, you see, you took your precious time. Eh? This morning, I am going to church. Mm -hmm. I am going to church. You took your precious time to look good. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. You took your precious time to dress this dust. Hmm? Yeah. This dust. Yeah. You took your time. Yeah. Some of you, you came to church late mm -hmm. because you had to look good. Right. Hmm? You came to church late. The one who created you, you came before him late. Because you have put him in the corner. You came to church late. When you are going to work, you are in a hurry to go. You don't, you don't want to be late. You don't want to be written up. In where I work, 301, three times you are gone. New York, it was five minutes grace. Over here, one minute. Do it three times and you are gone. Look at the time you came to church. Ch church starts at what time? Ten. 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 You took your precious time and made this body, this flesh, look good. Because, hey, you might get a compliment, right? Mm -hmm. You might get a hey, Papa, in fact, today you look good when I mean it from my heart. You look very good. Hey, that's my papa. Oh. Ah, that's my papa. You took your precious time to dress this dust. You came from the dust, you will return to the dust. You took your precious time. Some of us, we could not even, even decide which outfit to wear. Am I lying? No. You say I'm lying? No. Ah. You went to your wardrobe. That brown one was calling you. Harry, come, come, come. You put it on. Then you take it off. Ah, did we shoe grass should I wear? When you used to be in Africa and you didn't have much to wear. You had one. Jesus. Today, your wardrobe is full. Jesus. It's full. You don't know what to wear. So you come to church late. God forgive you. Amen. We have all sinned. Amen. Eh? Amen. When we come to church late, we are sinning. Yes. We are afraid of that manager, that supervisor, more than God. The one that gives you breath. Eh? The giver of life. This morning, if you didn't walk you up, will you be here? You heard Sister Thomas' uh, testimony, right? I was right in the back. Me, I wasn't late, oh. I got here before. Honey, what time did you get here? <laughs> I think 9.10 when I was in the van I saw it 9.10 we were here 
You didn't see me, it doesn't mean I was late. If I was late, I wouldn't even say it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. You, it was hard for you to decide what to wear. You want to look good. What hurts me is the ladies. Our makeup. It's okay to have makeup. But wake up early. You want to put on your makeup? Please wake up early. The other day I was sharing with my sister Sarah. Because I realized that both of us, we were coming to church late. So I said to my sister, Sister, I think now... Saturday night, we should take out the kids' stuff. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And by the grace of God, we are we are both we are trying. We are working on it. Right, is that? Mm -hmm. God bless you. Amen. 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 We are working on it. Amen. Wake up early. <coughs> this morning, as you are looking so shame. Don't ask me what it means because Holy Spirit gave it to me. <laughs> you are looking so good. You made sure this flesh looking good. How is the person in you looking? Amen. Brother? The real Daniel Eh? Your inner man. The one that would stand before the judgment seat. How is he looking? Amen. We are going after the world. Chasing everything. As Christians, we have forgotten that the one who will come is coming. Is closer than we think. Amen. We are joking. There is no fear of God anymore. No. Be wise. Repent. The kingdom of God is at hand. Amen. Amen. Be wise, sir. Hmm. He will come so suddenly. Some will cry. Wake out your salvation with fear and trembling. Instead of you being afraid of man, be afraid of God. Be afraid of God. Afraid of God. Beloved, he holds your life in his hands. When he says, you are gone. This morning, if God decided not to, he decided that Harry, come home. It would have been done. Then judgment. We are living our lives like there is there is no something coming. Today you hear the English, that's take it as it is. Amen. Beloved, there is something coming. Yes. Eh? Yes. Danger is ahead. If you don't take care, you will perish. Yes. Instead of being afraid of man. Be afraid of the one who created you. Amen. He can take your life anytime. Yes. Anywhere. You are his. Yes. If you like it or yes, as you are breathing right now, it is his will. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Beloved, I had a dream. You see, before I met, before my, I, when my husband, 
When my husband proposed to me, I said to him, make sure you don't become a pastor. Because my fear was standing in front of people. I told him, you better make sure you don't become a pastor. I'm not a preacher. When I have to speak, that's when I speak. Hallelujah. Amen. I have a dream. As the speakers were speaking, our mother Margaret, Sister Nyepu, Ma Quina, Ma Pat, as they were flowing, I said, Lord, don't pass me by you. Look how you are using them. Me too. What do you want me to say? When it comes to giving the word, I'm very sensitive. Ask my husband, he will tell you. I haven't slept. Last week, we were fasting. Up to today, I am fasting. From Friday, Saturday to now, I have not eaten. I am doing dry fast. Because I wanted to hear from him. Yeah. I don't want to stand here and say that says the Lord. And God has not said anything. I have not eaten. This morning I look in the mirror and say, Harry, you have lost weight. This because of what I'm wearing, you don't see it. When I check in the mirror, I say, Yeah, I didn't know. The, the, the back is gone. But my husband loves me, so I don't. It does, it, it does not intimidate me. No, Hallelujah. Amen. I would rather perish this body. Mm. Hallelujah. Than eat uh, and not receive anything from the Lord. Mm. Sister Kathy is doing it again. I love you, dear. God bless you. Amen. I had a dream. You want to hear? Yes. The dream is about us. You know why I had that dream? Because it's almost one. Mm -hmm. Hey, then I didn't go anywhere. Go, go. Anyway, when I had a dream about us, you see, when even when I woke up, this was yesterday. Yesterday morning, because I've been asking God, what do I say? My husband keeps coming to me. Are you okay? Have you gotten anything? I say, I mean, no. You see how that when you are when you are give, when you are preparing yourself and and when you receive that the peace that you get, mm -hmm. I was not getting it, Papa. I say, Lord, remember me. I don't want to go and stand there and say what you have not said. So I kept praying. I said, I won't eat until you speak. And as I'm standing before you, I have not eaten. Amen. From Friday. God, Remind, remember that from the, the whole week we were fasting. So I'm, all, I'm already empty. And then I decided that because of the truth, I will go extra mile. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So this morning, don't judge me. Amen. If I say God says, what God says, Amen. it means God said it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And whether you judge me or not, hey, I said God said it. Amen. 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 I dreamt there was a party. Eh? And let's say if like if this room is the party, some of us. We got to, we were at the door before the door, the party door was open. Cody, you understand? Some of us, we were at the door before the party door was open. Some I didn't see. Some were prepared for the party. They were there before the door was open, before the light was turned on. And 
one person that I remember so well, that person's dress was beautiful. I woke up. I said, yay! I have my message. Before I even said I have my message, God released into my spirit the five wise virgins. The five wise sweet mom, can you read that? Matthew 25, 1 to 13. God is so good. Matthew chapter 25, verse 1. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto the ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. The bridegroom, not bridegroom. Bridegroom. Verse 2. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. Verse 3. They that were foolish took their lamps, and took no oil with them. Verse 4. But they, but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. Verse 5. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. Verse 6. And at midnight, there was a cry, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Seven. Then all those virgin arose and trimmed their lamps. Praise God. Okay, now I'm... Gave me a mic that was not on. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. Verse 7, I'll read over. Then all those virgin arose... No, it's on, but it's not... It's okay, I'll give her a hand. Praise God. Verse 7. Then all those virgin arose and trimmed their lamps. Verse 8. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. 9. But the wise answer saying, No, so. Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go we rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. Then, and while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Amen. 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 And the door was what? In my dream, some of us, we were already there before the door was open, meaning that we were prepared. But some of us, we are not prepared. The foolish ones didn't make it. The wise took extra oil. Amen. They cleaved to the Holy Spirit. They were led by Holy Spirit. They walked by the Word, which is the Lamb. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Revelation 21, please. 21 7 and 8 okay. he that overcometh shall inherit all things did you say 8? 7 and 8 seven please and eight. Okay. he that overcometh shall inherit all things and I will be his God and he shall be my son verse 8 but the fearful and the unbelieving and the 
abominable and murderers and warmongers and sorcerers and idolaters and liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death. Amen. Amen. Revelation 7. He who overcomes, verse 7, shall inherit, God bless you, man, shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Amen. Look how God has given you the position of a son. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. He says if you endure, if you overcome, like Paul overcame. Yes. Hmm? This Christian work is a war. When you are called to lead, it's a war. Amen. Paul was attacked. That's right. He was persecuted. Yes. He was hated. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. As a Christian, Amen. God says, he himself, he went through it. So you too, you will go through it. Yes. So if you overcome everything, Amen. he says he will call you his son. Imagine being the son of the Most High. Amen. 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 The 8 says, I'm reading the NLT, but the cowards, unbelievers, the corrupt, murderers, the immoral, those who practice witchcraft, Amen. idol worshippers, late comers, Be mindful of that one. Idol worshippers, all liars, their fate is in the fiery lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death. So, the first death is which one? Oh, the, 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 the natural one. And so then, if you don't make it, then you spend eternity in hell. Okay. He says the cowards, the meaning of cowards. I said, me grab me here, cowards, cowards. is afraid, but I just want to see it ditto ditto. He says a person who lacks courage, excessively afraid of danger and harm. He says the cowards. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of us. We are very afraid. Those who are going to hell, hallelujah, are cowards. If you cannot tell the truth, you are a coward. You know that what the person is doing is not good, but you condone it. You are a coward. Hallelujah. Yeah. If you cannot handle the truth, you want to compromise it. You are a coward. Amen. And you will end up in hell. Amen. If you don't want to go by the word of God, you don't, you don't want, to, you don't want the, the truth to be told. You are a coward. Amen. Some of us, we don't want to hear the truth. And we don't want to speak it to we want to compromise the word of God. If you know what is right and you don't do it, you are a coward. And hell is awaiting you. You want the word to be said, be okay, like you want to be it to be missed to your liking, to your taste. The Bible says if you add some to it, you see. The truth must be told. My mothers, my fathers, my sisters, my brothers. As for me, Harriet, if you see that I am going wrong, let me know. Amen. Amen. Rebuke me in love. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't like messages that tomorrow by this time God will bless you. You are, you are hurting me. 
God blessed me where in the Garden of Eden? What? It's not that he's going to bless me. Tell me what is going to help me to make heaven. Because at the end of the day, heaven stands. Everything else perish. Hallelujah. Before I forget, as I was waiting, and I'm still waiting, aside from God releasing the five veggies into my spirit, he told me to tell the church, set your house in order. Please, don't say amen too quick. I want you to think about what I'm saying. You see, he told prophet Isaiah to go to Hezekiah. Uh -huh. Hezekiah was sick. And he told him, Let, tell this servant of mine that this sickness, he will not come out of it. Tell him to set his house in order. When God, when God released this into my spirit yesterday morning, he didn't tell me that somebody is coming to die. You. I'm not here to scare anybody. As he gave me, that's what I'm telling you. And I've been, I've, I'm fasting three days dry. So don't tell me I haven't heard from God. Amen. I have heard from him. Amen. Because he says that he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. I have diligently sought the Lord. Amen. And he has sent me to you. And to you, Amen. and to everybody, Amen. set your house in order. Amen. God is asking us, make it right with him. You know what else he said? We worship him with our legs. Our heart is far away. You come here, I'm number one. I dance. But if it is unto God, he knows. If it is unto man, he knows. He said, our legs is praising him. This is what he told me yesterday morning. Our legs, your mouth is praising him. Oh God, you are God. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Papa? Oh, I love you. God bless you. Eh? You praise him with your lips. Baba, you are worthy. You are worthy. Hey, sister, you do you can sing. Oh, God bless you. Amen. Let it be from the heart to God. He said, Your lips is praising him. You are faking. We are faking. You, me, me first. Myself and you. We are faking. He said our hearts, the real deal is way from him. You caught up this morning, came through this weather. Why are you wasting your time? This house, we want to make heaven you know. If you are not ready to make heaven, sit home. Sit home. And I'm not afraid to say that. You are wasting your time. We need business in this house. When Christ appears, we want to be caught up with him. If there is a holy church upon this, this earth, CPIC Rhode Island should be number one. Amen. So thinking. I am saying to daddy I love him because I do love him. I am not faking it. If you want to hate, hate! 
If you want to love, love. Amen. Why are you faking? Mm. Why are you compromising? Mm. You can't. You can't be cold. You can't be hot. You are in between. What is this? Be who God says you should be. Amen. Before. To see how even this ship, they, they, how they escape from chapter 22. You know, chapter 22 by itself is a long 23, long 24, 25, 26, 27. Are they all for God? Yeah. All so that I can please Him. Yeah. All so that this morning I won't lie to you. Amen. All so that I will not compromise the word. God forbid to fear God. Amen. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. When I ask him to give me word, I said, Lord, you know I don't know how to speak. I don't know how to speak. Oh. When I see Sister Mina and the young, my younger sisters speaking that English, I said, eh. I say, Lord, you have called me just as I am. Yeah. High school graduate. And you are if ask me to stand before these people who speak English well, well, then you have to speak through me. Amen. Because I can't do it on my own. Amen. I have no power of my own. I have no strength of my own. If you I said to Holy Spirit, if you embarrass me. You are embarrassing yourself. Amen. If you leave me alone this morning, and I come and stand here and say, cha, 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 cha. God, if you embarrass me, you have embarrassed yourself. And your word says, those who put their trust in you, they will not be put to shame. Amen. If you put me to shame, shame on you. Oh. Amen. I give him the glory. Amen. Beloved, the cowards, if you are here and you are compromising the word of God, you know that the person, what they are doing is wrong and you condone it. Hell is waiting for you. The unbelievers will end up in hell. I pray that all of us, we are believers because with that faith, you cannot please him. Corrupt. The corrupt will end there. If you cannot be trusted, you are dishonest. Hell is waiting for you. Medrois. I'll read this last quotation and then because we have a lot to do. Amen. Medrois. First John. First John. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. First John. Says what? Uh, chapter 3, verse 9. Actually, no, the verse 15. Verse 15. Verse 15, uh-huh, ma. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer, and he know that no murderer had eternal life abiding in him. Amen. Amen. Whoever hates his brother is a liar. Is a metra. Hallelujah. Excuse me. Whoever hates his brother is a metra. 
and you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. The greatest commandment is to love. Is there hate in the house of God? Yes. Because the, 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 the people that they were being, um, this chapter was written to or sharing to, they were Christians. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. Is there hatred in the house of God? Yeah. Yes. yes. If you don't see eye to eye with me, you hate me. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. If you cannot see my eye, you can't look into my eyes. It's even when, when I come close to you, you are comfortable. Mm -hmm. Your body tells me you are comfortable. Mm -hmm. Oh, uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I told you that it's English. Mm -hmm. Thank you, all my professors. Thank you, Papa. Mm -hmm. God bless you. When I come to you, you are uh -huh. uncomfortable. Uh -huh. Why is it that you are a Christian, I'm a Christian, we drink from the same cup. And then I come to you and you are, you are uncomfortable. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Beloved, before I'm gonna I'm gonna end here because I had a lot. If you put your if you rely on Holy Spirit, he does a lot. I didn't even finish what what was given. Amen. My advice to us if we want to make heaven, ask God every day, every moment you go to God. If you really want to make heaven. Beloved, ask for pure heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Ask for a pure heart. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory. Shall we rise?